So, if you've ever had to try and record any sound with your SJ Cam SJ4000 Wi-Fi or any action camera that's in a case, you'll know that the sound is awful, uh, often non-existent, even if you take it out of the case. And I've already done a guide to show you how to record the audio separately with something like a Zoom H1 and a mic, and I'll put links to that in the description. But in this video, I'd like to show you how to record your audio separately with your phone. And then the real trick is how you sync up the audio track to the video track in post-production. And I'm going to show you how to do it with Adobe's Premiere Pro and the free Windows Movie Maker. Okay, so first up, you'll want some sort of recording app on your phone. Preferably one that can record WAV files, because they'll be better quality than a Compress MP3, and often they're a little easier to work with, because some of the apps use files that you know Windows Movie Maker or Premiere Pro might have trouble opening up. On my Android phone, I've gone for TaperTalk, a free app that records easy enough to WAV formats, but I'm sure there's similar apps for iOS and Windows Phone. And in fact, you could use this method with any digital voice recorder. Just make sure that it records audio in a format that your video editing software can recognize. Now, we're ready to go. So set up your SJ4000 where you want it to be and start it recording. Then we start the audio app recording. Clap your hands together a couple of times where the camera can see them with a nice little gap in between. Then do your piece to camera or whatever you're doing. Then stop the voice recording app. Then stop your SJ4000. That's it really. So next what we need to do is get both of those video files, sorry, the video file and your audio file onto your PC or laptop ready for editing. I'm going to start with Premiere Pro and then you show you how to do the same with the free Windows Movie Maker, and we're gonna bring the video and the audio together to make one movie. Okay, so here we are in Adobe's Premiere Pro, and as you can see in the timeline here on the bottom right -hand corner, we've got my video track, which consists of the video itself and the, uh, the audio, and I've also brought in the separate audio from my phone, which is down here. Now, Remember, in the video, I said to, to clap, and if you hopefully you'll be able to see this rendering. You should be able to see me one, two, three claps like that. Great. So we now need to match this up down here. Um, now, one of the things you could try is if there was some sound, you could actually select uh, your video track and your audio track in the preset bin. Right click on the video track and create multi-camera source. It isn't going to work for this because there's no sound. You can't hear anything from the uh, SJ cam, but the trick is if you come over to the audio tracks here, A2 is the one with the, um, the sound from the phone, and then just get the little bars up and drag it down, what can we see? You might have to maximize this screen on YouTube if we zoom in a little bit. What you can see here, let me move the head, there's my three claps, clap, clap, clap. So all I need to do is, come, is move my head over here, where do I clap? Clap. Right, there's the clap, <laughs> so to speak. And then what I can do is I can just drag this across to roughly where the clap is, and then just play it. Are we close? I think I've got it spot on the first time, so that's pretty good. Now, what you can do is when you're dragging tracks backwards and forwards, you'll find it'll only move like a set amount. So if you need to move a finer amount, just zoom in a little bit more, and then you can you can just move the track backwards and forwards, tiny amounts. The more you zoomed in, the the the, diff, the, the yeah, better you can get it. Just till you get that. Let's see if I if I manage to get it wrong now. No, I mean that's good. And when I start talking. That's synced up. Now, I don't know whether you'll see this on the video because it's very tricky, especially on my laptop, for the screencast software to record um, what I'm doing um, in terms of the, the video um, and, uh, and, and uh, sort of play back the render from Premiere Pro and record it. So you might not see much moving, but hopefully you can see the fact that we've got these three spikes down here, which is the three claps, and all we've got to do is move video. Now, obviously, once you get to this point, then you would choose your edit point where, you know, before you start talking, I don't know, say there, come back a little bit, and I would just get my cut tool out, cut that, cut that, get rid of all this, 
I would unlink the video from its original audio because there's nothing there. Delete that audio there. Select both of these. And then link group them up together. Zoom out a bit. And then we can just, you know, they should move together. And then obviously then I would edit the end, you know, take the take, take bit off the end and, and it's ready to, uh, obviously with this particular clip, adjust the um, the colour <laughs> because it doesn't look very good. But there you go, that's Adobe Premiere Pro. See how easy it is to sync up the audio with the video. Just remember to do those clip, do those clips, do those claps. And uh, it makes things very, very simple. So let's look at Windows Movie Maker next. Okay, so now we're in Windows Movie Maker, the free application from Microsoft that is really, you know, quite useful. Um, and you can do lots of things with it. As you can see, we've got the video in the timeline, then we've got the audio in as well, which I've just added by going to Home, Add Music, or you can add a narration. You know, there's lots of different ways of doing it. But anyway, it's there, but it doesn't line up with the video at the moment. So first thing we've got to do is go to View, and click on waveforms and there we've got the waveforms and lo and behold there we go there's the three claps clap 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 so if we move the um video ahead along till me just clapping right clap 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 there we go clap clap Ooh. right let's stop on the first clap so the first clap is there so what all you do now is you just drag the audio to roughly where you think it might be then have another look Right, there's the clap, so we're, we're still quite a way off. So let's just move that to there. So the first clap is right there. So I just need to move it to the left a little bit. It is a bit hit and miss in Movie Maker. Let's see if we're close. That looks pretty good, so let's play it and see. Okay, so I'm a little bit behind at the moment, aren't I? So let's move it across a little bit. In fact, I think I just moved it completely to the wrong place. Let's have a look at that now. There we go, that's good enough for government work. Um, in fact, it's just gone a little bit further to where I start talking. Okay, so this is just a really quick demo of using... That's it, that's how easy it is to sync up audio that you recorded separately on something like your phone and then a video camera like the SJ4000 with no or rubbish audio. All you've got to do is remember to do those claps at the beginning, give yourself a little space, and then you can easily... Um, match them up because you've got three sharp wave points that you can then match up with your claps so that that's how simple it is if you've got an sj4000 or a similar action cam and you're not happy with the audio because with the sj4000 when it's in its case there is no audio then all you've got to do is just download something to your phone like um taper talk um and record it separately and then sync it up how easy is that so if you've got any questions put them in comments down below if you like the video please subscribe and i will see you again soon okay so this is just a really quick demo of using the sj4000 for the video and tape talk the android app but it can be any sort of voice recorder to record the audio just down there apologies for the quality of the light because i'm recording this under tungsten tonight. and if you've got an sj4000 you know they didn't do that well in artificial light plus there's a really bright light just there and it's kind of blowing everything out so there we go does the sound look good look good does the sound sound good um again it's just recorded with my phone uh, but it is quite close so there we go anyway enjoy <laughs>